تذكر يوما كنت تعانق دمعة الفكر تناجي الله في صبر وترجو رحمة تسري فعاش القلب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brothers and sisters welcome back to the reality show part 4 the video is called I want a pious wife and obviously we all want a pious wife but this is not what the video is about my whole topic is based upon basically the hypocrisy and double standards of certain men so as you know um, you know, some people out there, some men out there have girlfriends, uh, are looking for girlfriends, you know, but when I ask them a question regarding, which you'll see the clip in a minute, you know, how would you react? For example, if your sister had a boyfriend, they get really angry. And one of them was like, I'll, lo I'll lose my composure. You know, it really affected them. And I just wanted to show the hypocrisy, you know, uh, when they have a girlfriend, it's okay. But when their sister or their uh, uh, daughter or etc has a boyfriend, they don't like it, you know, that's, that's just what the whole show is about basically And also some men that go out there and sleep around, have girlfriends But when it comes to marriage, it's like, no, I want a woman that's untouched, I want a pious wife You know, we're going to give like, talk about hadith And also how men reacted to certain questions we asked them Now as you know, my channel has moved from Muslim Youth Movement uh, You can still watch Reality Part 1, 2 and 3 on Muslim Youth Movement But from now on, um, all the reality shows will be on my channel So inshallah subscribe And also you can check out the videos at the end of the um, link um, at the end of the video as you know a couple of weeks ago the video got deleted because somebody reported it and I think it's one of the guys that I interviewed obviously I didn't cover their face but we told them it was doing an interview but anyway you know maybe I, uh, I, sh I should have covered their face so basically enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe uh, Salaamu Alaikum I'll see you right after the clips um, do you have a girlfriend yes sir do you have a girlfriend okay what I want to know is how would you feel how, would you like it if your sister had a boyfriend and she was she was going out with someone and you know uh, do you get do you get what i'm trying to say yeah yeah i, I guess yeah uh, is it like a long term uh, well let me, put it just... like, let me put it like this yeah we, we don't know we don't know if it's a long term but she's going out with some guy and you, you don't know what they're doing but they're going out and obviously in a girlfriend boyfriend relationship you know what really happens like how would you feel as a brother Since i won't be comfortable with it you won't be comfortable with it yeah yeah you, you wouldn't like it i wouldn't like it definitely you wouldn't like wouldn't it like okay it. all right okay how about okay uh, my third question is basically if you was to get married yeah and if your wife had let's say for example had sexual relationships before before with a couple of guys would you accept that and marry her or would you say no i would accept it i would mind it but i i would have to accept okay it. okay you mind it but you're saying i'll accept it yeah yeah, yeah. because at the end of the day if, if for example if you if, if if i go around and do these kind of stuff with girls like obviously i'm not going to expect my wife to be pious or virgin do you get it because i'm oh, i'm yeah, doing yeah. it yeah what i'm saying is i would mind it when she had sexual relationships yeah. before yeah but because I love her and I want to marry her. Because you love her. Okay. I, I need to accept it. You need to accept I it. I don't want to accept it, but I need to. You don't want to accept it, but you'll accept yeah. it. Yeah. Have you got a girlfriend? Yes, I do. You have a girlfriend? Yes, yeah? I do. Okay. Now, what I want to ask you is this, yeah? You find out that your sister has a boyfriend. How would you feel? How would you act? I wouldn't really like it. I mean, it is something, you know, being a Muslim, yeah. it's not really a part of our culture and everything. Same, Yes, but when I go out do it, it's a different thing because me, my girlfriend, she's not Muslim. She's not Muslim? Okay. Yeah, she's not. So I don't think it's it's wrong in their culture, Okay. but it is in ours. So I wouldn't really be, you know, I wouldn't yeah. appreciate it. You wouldn't appreciate it? I would try to find out who that guy is and, you know, try to tell her that this is not the right thing. This is not how you do it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, Jay, but don't you think, yeah, like this is what we're getting at here. Don't you think it's a bit like, okay... For example, if it was me, like, all right, you got a girlfriend, yeah? yeah? Then how does it work when you say, okay, like, my sister can't have it? I know it's right. Like, I'm a Muslim myself, yeah, yeah? yeah? I know how it is, yeah? Isn't that a bit of double standards? Like, is it like yeah, a, can, yeah, you tell us, what, can you tell us where the problem arises? That's when it becomes hard. That's yeah. when it becomes hard. That's how, I mean, if she starts asking me questions about it, yeah. okay, what if you do it? Yeah. Then it's hard for me to explain to her. Yeah, yeah. No, that's this, is, this is the hard part. Yeah, this, yeah. Is where, this is where I would actually go blank. Vincent, you got a girlfriend? Yeah. No girlfriend, yeah? yeah? Okay. How would you feel if your sister came home and said, you know what, look, I'm dating this guy, and you don't know if he's serious or not, but she's saying, look, I'm, I'm, I'm with some guy. It's fine. You're fine? You, you, you won't mind that? No. Okay, right. How about you're getting married, yeah? Okay? Yeah. And then your wife comes up to you and says, yeah, look, previously I've, I had these couple of relations, like she wants to take off her shoulder, yeah? she's been honest with you, and she's saying, look, I was with three four other guys, and she was sexually, like, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It's happened. How would you feel? Would you, you, you say, you know what, nah, I ain't gonna carry on with this, or would you say, you know what, I don't mind, it was a past, I'm just gonna leave it? Right before we get married. 
It's not happening right before we're getting married. If it's, oh, if it's right before you're getting married, it's not happening. You're not, you're not taking it. No, I'm not taking no, it. You're not taking it. Um, but if okay, but, if it was, yeah, all of that's supposed to come out during dating. That's during dating. Okay. During okay. dating, not okay, while okay. before, just okay. before we get married, not before engage, not okay. during engagement yeah. either. Not that's either. all dating stages. Do you have a girlfriend? No. You don't have a girlfriend? No. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Okay. Let's suppose you have a girlfriend, yeah? Okay. Yeah. And um, how would you feel, for example, if your sister, do you have sisters? Yeah. yeah. You have sisters. How would you feel if your sister came home and said she's dating, she's got a boyfriend? Be a bit weird. Want to find out who he is yeah. and make sure he's all right. Like, so it's a make sure, like, you, yeah. you wouldn't mind? No, no. Okay. What I about wouldn't you? mind, but I want to know him. You, you'd yeah. want to know him? Yeah. So I'm here with Carlos. Carlos doesn't want to show his face for certain reasons he knows best. Okay, Carlos, do you have a um, g um, girlfriend? Yeah. You have, you have a girlfriend? Yeah, okay. Um, Carlos, what would you do if your sister came home one day and said that you have a, you, um, She's got a boyfriend. I would be angry. Oh, you'd be angry. Okay, all right. So, excuse me for asking you this, yeah. But so you can have a girlfriend, but when this is has a boyfriend, you'll be angry. Is there any reason why? Why double standards? Listen, yeah. you know, to be honest, I'm a man, right? Okay. And my sister, um, she wouldn't know how to decide who is a good, you know, a good fella or a good, okay. a good chap, you know. Okay, all right. So, oh, what about your girlfriend that you're with now? Isn't it the same for her? Like she can't decide for herself as well. Well, I decided for her, right? Oh, you decided for her. Okay, let's pass on that question. So that's your opinion. So, uh, how about if your wife, yeah, you're getting married, yeah, and your wife, she's she's had previous relationships. She's been with different guys. Would you tolerate that? Would you would you carry on the marriage or would you say no? I ain't gonna have that. No, clean sheet, bro. I, I, I prefer clean sheet. You prefer clean sheet. Okay, so isn't that double standards? You can go around and do what you want. Just like, don't get me wrong, yeah? But you can go around and do what you want. But when it's, when, when, when um, like, do you get what I'm trying to say? So when your wife's yeah. gone out there yeah. and maybe she's made, like, mistakes or something, you won't allow that? It's my right, though. I can decide right. whether I want to have a right, you're right. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. Yeah. But what I'm, I'll just, like, get mm. my perspective. I just think that's double st standards. I just think that women who do such things should really think twice because like who really wants to marry something like that yeah, but who wants to marry someone like you now guys do you have a girlfriend no nope. not, not at the moment no nah. at the moment yeah yeah, yeah. okay but you're looking not looking but I'm obviously looking. busy in it busy. busy no time okay, for okay, them okay. what about you bro man's engaged i'm engaged? engaged yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 Marshall, that's good man now i want to ask you a question yeah you found out for your friends your sister has a boyfriend yeah, yeah. what would your reaction be I'll, I'll, I'll start getting mental i lose my composure yeah? I swear that I'll Try go crazy. Try find out who the guy is okay. and like tell him to stay away from her. You get me? Okay, all right. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, yeah? Yeah. Now, obviously, now you ha you're saying you, you, if you had a girlfriend, yeah? Okay. Now, don't you think it's a bit of a double standard, yeah? Where you say, okay, you have a girlfriend, yeah? But when it comes to your sister, you're like, oh, hold on a second, hold on a second. Like, I'm just giving you, like, give that's, the people a different that, story. Yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, completely yeah. different story. Okay, okay, can now, you explain that? I would that? never go out with, yeah. with a girl that's, that's wearing a headscarf, innit? Because I'll, I'll okay. like that, because my, my yeah. sister wears a headscarf herself, yeah. innit? Mashallah, mashallah. So, obviously, yeah. I don't respect that. Yeah. yeah. I thought, but you it know, doesn't you know, feel nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going out with different girls. Yeah, it's a completely different story. You're a guy, she's a girl. You're supposed to look after your little sister, you get me? Okay, but, all right, right, look, I've got to be real with you, yeah? But what about the person you're with? What about, she's a sister to a person as well? You get what I'm trying to say? That yeah. depends. That depends if her family allow it or not. If they don't, then I'll stay away from her. You're going to get married. Your wife tells you that she had a past. Yeah? yeah? Would you, would you have a past? Relationships and stuff happens. Okay. You get what I'm trying to say? Okay, yeah. Would you carry on or would you be like, nah, 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 it ain't happening? Nah, a man wants a virgin. Okay. Yeah, virgin. She has to have no past behind her. Okay. But okay. also, I told you, it depends on the feelings to the girl. Okay. You might really love the girl. Okay, okay. But I've got to be real with you again, yeah? Go on. Okay, if you want a virgin, don't you think you should be a virgin yourself? Uh, have you got a girlfriend? No. No. Nah. You haven't got a girlfriend either? No, not yet. Why not? Not yet. Soon, yeah? Okay. Okay. How would you like it if you got home, your sister, you found out that your sister's dating someone, she got a boyfriend? How would you feel? Would you like it? Uh, not particularly. I oh, wouldn't date the boyfriend, nah. None of, like it, yeah? None of that. None of that. Okay, okay, all right. Okay. But isn't that double standards? For example, you're saying you can have girlfriends, but yeah, when it comes... Is. That's what guys do. No, but that, exactly. Uh, it's, no, what, no. it's what all, like, relatives would do. Like, you're okay, going to be it's, protected. It's your family, it's your family. But when you're doing it, you're like, it's cash, man. Like, it, okay, 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 okay. you got to give me some info here. So you're telling me that it's like a guy thing? Yeah, like, it's your family. You protect your, your family, family, aren't it? Your yeah. family, yeah. But, but like, I'm, just, I'm just saying from my perspective, yeah? How come it's okay for you to have a girlfriend, 
But then when it comes to your sister, maybe that's somebody else's sister. It's fucked up, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's cool. No, no, I want you to be honest. No, I just want you to be honest. Is, is, is that how it is? Can... How it is? I think. No, yeah, it's just a family thing. Like, I th- don't think anyone's got that perception that it's wrong mm. when it's with it's someone family, else. Because yeah. it's outside of the household. It's not someone you know. Okay. You know, but... And you think yourself is a good guy. Do you have a girl, uh, girlfriend? Obviously, fam. Oh, so you got a girlfriend, yeah? Okay. No, but you man, I'm my fam. All right, okay, okay, okay. All right, so what would you do, yeah? If you found out your sister has a boyfriend, how would you react? Are you mad, my don? Oh, clap her. I'll okay. take my man and nab him, fam. And okay, all right, let me get this right, yeah? So you're telling me you can have a girlfriend, but when it's your sister having a boyfriend, you get all switches. Isn't that hypocrisy? Obviously, my sister, though, it's a different situation. Oh, it's different now? Okay, okay. Nah, for real, for real. This is brother Ibrahim Bin Mansur, yeah? Obviously, he's going to give you a little, like, that was a little joke. So, bro, you know what I'm doing out here, yeah? I'm just trying to, like, you know, you know how the reality show, you've watched a couple of them, you've been in the first one. Obviously, what advice do you give these guys out there who go around, sleep around with girls, do all kinds of crap, but when it's their boyfriend, uh, sorry, when it's their sister, yeah. they get all protective. So hold on a second, like, don't they think, what if someone did that to their own sister and they're behaving like that? Nah. And what if they're going out with someone you get what I'm trying to say? Okay, what okay. advice do you give? Because you're married now, obviously, and you've, you've went through that stage, mashallah, you know, you didn't get into all that girlfriend, your boyfriend thing. How did you do it? And how could you advise the views out there? Okay, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ba'ad salam wa alaykum brothers and sisters. Again, just to clarify, no, I don't have a girlfriend. No, 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 that was, that was just... T- technically, I do, because my wife is a girl and she's my friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> shut up, man. <laughs> look, 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 on a real twin, yeah? yeah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was approached by a boy and you all know this hadith but I want you to look at it differently. He was approached by a boy Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said that Ya Rasulullah make zina permissible for me because he was that desperate like he needed to, he, need, he needed a beat you know what I'm saying. The Prophet Sallallahu basically said to him would you like for someone to do this to your mom or to your sister uh, yeah. and the boy was like nah of course not obviously. Then the Prophet said, obviously, you know, the message got through to him and he realized, you know, that, you know, we don't want that someone to do that to one of my own women. Why am I going to do that to someone else's woman, right? Yeah. And the Prophet said, made dua for him. Now, do you know what the scholars say about this hadith? Yeah. They say that if a man comes to hear about this and understand this, right, that if they violate someone else, his sister, their sister may get violated, yeah. then one of the ways that Allah punishes them is by making sure that happens to their sister, by making sure that happens to their daughter, by making sure that happens to their mom or their auntie and so on and so forth. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, uh, welcome back. And you saw what we saw, <laughs> and we only we experienced as well, we was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SubhanAllah, it's crazy, man. <clears throat> it's, you know, the double standards, the hypocrisy out there, man. You know, bro, where, where does this come from, man? How, how do they get this kind of mentality? Akhi, Allah, Alam. You know, I think it's, it's just, I think that's, creeped in inside of mm. like especially the muslim because there's yeah. nothing there's nothing to do with islam and obviously islam mm. never promotes anything of like course of course but obviously when we're in a society this is obviously that mm. pro- like promotes music movies yeah. Yeah. and all these they have like a you know in the music videos the man mm. he's got yeah. like, all the girls, yeah, all the and, girls that, around, and this yeah. and that and they all come to him and obviously when it's the other way around you don't see yeah. A woman with all men in exactly. her video because then it's like otherwise yeah. yo this girl's a yeah, this girl's a, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so we know what it is in it so it's just like it's crept within us mm. in it like it's just somehow and in the movies and that it's just a lot of them just to, it's being forced down yeah. our throat and then now it's just beca- a, a thing that we yeah. don't know it's in it yeah, we it's, don't know it's, it's, nice. it's sad, like right. you see in the video the guy you yeah. asked him like this and that yeah. your girlfriend and that he's like nah nah some of them are like yeah yeah, yeah I got then then you asked him about their sister oh. sister no, my sister. Bro, like, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. The guy, this is yeah. one of the guys who's saying his work. He goes, oh, if that happened to my sister, or if I found out, I'll lose my composure. Yeah. I was like, damn, that's a deep word. Like, you know, he was so affected by it emotionally. Yeah. And basically, but you see the hypocrisy. Yeah. But also, you do see these men out there. Mm. Most of them, they're like, they understand it's wrong. They know it's wrong. But they justify it. They justify it. To themselves. It. Like, so you it, saw it because when we, when you tell them, like, oh, yeah. that's, that's someone else's. It's just the way you yes, felt, like, right yes. there. They're like, in their head, they think, nah, you know, he's got a point. But then at the same time, they're trying to justify yeah, it. Yeah, they're trying to justify it to yeah, themselves, yeah. you know? Okay, SubhanAllah, nice. you know, yeah, uh, basically a couple of days ago before I was like working on this project, yeah, I watched this video, man. SubhanAllah, it, it really hit me hard, man. Mm. You know, basically, uh, it's a story of this guy. Basically, it's in an Arab country. Mm. This guy didn't want to be named. And the, he sent his story to the newspaper so they can publish it. So people can learn a lesson out of it. Because <laughs> the stuff he went through, I'll tell you now, you'd be shocked, bro. This guy, he's in college. He meets a girl, mm. ends up doing Xena with her, yeah. and basically, a um, couple of months later, the, the brothers find out, 
come knocking at his door, trying to attack him and wow. saying, bro, 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 you did this kind this of stuff, sister, yeah? yeah? And this this guy goes, get the hell away from me, man. I don't know your sister. Go find a pregnancy somewhere else. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. So She was pregnant, the, yeah. Wow. Yeah, she was pregnant, yeah. and all that. And so what happened is, yeah. these brothers didn't have nothing on him. Yeah. So what could they do? They can't do nothing. No evidence. So really. they left and went. Yeah. Yeah. So what this brother says is in the news, uh, he's based in the newspaper. He's like, a couple of years went by, uh, I was in university. And one day he goes, I left. Uh, I, was, I left uni and I was just on my way home. I came home and I found my mum on the floor. And I was just wondering what's going on. He goes, I grabbed my mum and I said, Mum, what's, what's, what's happening? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. she goes, he goes, all I can... He goes, all I can remember is she's screaming and she just passes out. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to wake her up. And she goes, this, this happened a couple of times. And he goes, when, uh, when she finally woke up, she went, your sister. And I said, subhanAllah, what happened to her? Like, before she got killed or something. Yeah. And he goes, um, your sister. And I goes, Mum, what happened to my sister? Mm -hmm. He goes, your sister fell pregnant by the neighbour. Whoa. He goes, he found, and he goes, he lost the control. Yeah, yeah. So what he did was he ran to the neighbor's house. Yeah. Obviously broke the door, whatever, start attacking this guy. Yeah. But subhanAllah, this guy goes, that guy said one word yeah. that went through my heart like a dagger. He said to me, go find your sister's pregnancy somewhere else. It's got nothing to do with me. Subhanallah. It's got nothing to do with me. Yeah. He goes, it made me remember Same words what I said. said to that girl a couple of years ago. Not only is it, it doesn't end here. Yeah. Spana, look, I can see you're already shocked. Bro, yeah, it doesn't end yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. What happens is next is a couple of years go past and this guy says he goes through a mental illness problem because, uh, not like, you know, frustration because of what happened. It's really it, big. Yeah, yeah. So what happens is he uh, ends up, you know, going to get married to mm. his bride, subhanAllah. And on the uh, marriage day, the uh, his wife comes and says, uh, I committed zina before. SubhanAllah. And he goes, he goes, it says to the guy, you know, please don't expose my sin and may Allah SWT won't expose you on the day of judgment. She said that to him. Yeah, yep, yeah. she says that to him, please. Yeah. He goes, he goes, SubhanAllah. He goes, he goes, you know, please, you know, how much more can I take? Yeah. You know, he's, he's uh, uh, saying to Allah SWT. Yeah. And he goes, I had to take that upon me and like, you know, I had to the swallow spirit, it and spirit, I had yeah. to carry on. Yeah. He goes, uh, many years passed, I had a beautiful daughter, mm. six years old. He goes, he says it there specifically, he goes, she was like the moon. Mashallah. You know, he described it, SubhanAllah, MashaAllah. Yeah, yeah. And basically, he goes, one day um, we came home, obviously, in the Arab country, they probably have a guard or something. Yeah. He goes, my daughter ran up to me and it's really getting to me, man. Subhanallah. He goes, my daughter ran up to me and goes, um, the guard raped me. Whoa. The guard raped. The, can you believe it? Bro, subhanallah. It was, and this is, this is, this is what we're trying to say, bro. Yeah. You know, because in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you plan, yeah? yeah? But I plan as well. So and I am the best of planners. And this verse, I will catch up on what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Because what happened here is this, bro. The girl he committed zina with, had a brother, yeah, he yeah, had to suffer that yeah. pain. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the same thing happen to his sister yeah. so he can feel the same thing what happened to the girl's brother. Yeah. That sister was going to get married one day and she was going to have to explain to her husband yeah. that she committed zina. Yeah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made her marry a woman that's committed zina yeah. so he can feel the same pain as what that woman went through. That sister had a uh, father. How would the father feel, man? How would the father feel? That's why Allah okay. subhanahu wa ta'ala punished him for his daughter as a father so he can understand. That's deep, man. Bro, that was really, really deep, man. So basically, whatever is basically reciprocate, it's gonna come back. Bro, it will come back. Bro, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is jealous, jealous of his woman. Wow. Yeah? He yeah. will vengeance. Don't think the reason yeah. why I said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala plans, you guys know you plan, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala plans, yeah. and he's the best of planners, mm. is because you get these brothers out there mm. saying, I check my sister's phone now, mm. I see where she's going, I follow her. She can't do nothing like that. Yeah. Who are you trying to fool? Yeah. Who are you trying to fool? Yeah. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty man, the one who created you, you're going to be catching up. Bro, I hear stories that sisters, they're on lockdown mm. and they still do it. Yeah? Wow. You know, yeah, yeah. when I mean sister, I don't mean like hijabi, like, no hijabi. No, 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 These, no, yeah, you know yeah, I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, 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 they yeah. still do it. Who yeah. are you fooling? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish you. Yeah. You think you're going to go out there and do that to other people's sisters and it's not going to happen to you? Keep dreaming, man. Just keep your dream. SubhanAllah, man. That's powerful, man. That's scary, man. Yeah. That's scary thought for me. That's, that's the mindset though that we should carry in it. And Zin is such a big thing. When you commit it, you're not only transgressing against yourself. Yes. You're transgressing. You're 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 harming someone else as well, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. It's very 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 powerful. Very exactly. very deep, man. Yeah. It's very deep. But even though it is deep, and even though okay, look, you did it. You don't know, and you know what? Obviously, for, inshallah, from this, you do take home that you know what? Yeah. Somehow I didn't know. Okay, you didn't know. What's the next step then, isn't it? Yeah. You, you, Alhamdulillah, you're alive, innit? Yeah. You're watching this video, if you are. If not, share it out. There's, you're, you're still breathing, innit? Yeah. You're still alive. Allah hasn't taken your soul yet. 
Yeah. The doors of repentance are open. Yeah. You heard it from me and brother uh, Guled. Guys, be real, man. Come back to the real world. You know, that's why, you know, it's a reality show. You know, come back to real life. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Mm. Don't go around doing silly stuff. Come on, man. You don't need that. How many how many stories I get, man, of these relationships? Too many, man. Fam, yeah. you, you be shocked, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, guys, uh, before you click away, just yeah. wait for the end of the video because we've got four links that will be interesting. Part one, part two, yeah. and part three, a reality show. Also, a little video of Brother uh, Imran Ibn Mansour of the Nasir sessions. Uh, it'll be straight after the video finished, subhanAllah. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. And all I want from sisters out there is to share this video and brothers and try to tag along, uh, tag some people which can benefit from the video as well. Just remember though, it takes two hands to clap. So even though we're brothers, comment and uh, all that, yeah, sisters play a role as well. Inshallah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, definitely, definitely. Which we're going to be touching in, up inshallah. in the later shows, inshallah. <laughs> so, inshallah. salam alaikum. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah.